All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started with expanding the uh, USB, expanding, you know, the disk space on your router, right? Uh, so as you can see here, I have uh, all of the commands already um, out, out, you know, uh, listed out for you. Uh, please just make sure that the uh, USB device, right? You only have one so that this doesn't get uh, too crazy and expanding your disk space onto it, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is you need SSH into your router and you're just gonna go ahead and, you know, OPKG update and then install. All right, while that's doing that, uh, the next thing is going, you're gonna do is you are going to fat, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, format your USB device, right, into ext4. That's what this command does. And then we have this Y here. Um, in order to say yes, because it's going to ask you, do you want to actually format it? And then do pay attention that you see I'm copying from the line underneath these commands so that I can make sure this last one is actually executed. So we have that. Let's go ahead and hit that. So that's good there. We just got to give that uh, some time to format the entire flash disk. All right, as you can see, it is done. So now all that's left now to do is to run this set of commands here where we are going to basically establish it, uh, you know, as a full-fledged disk drive for our router. And boom, you see it executed everything. It did our reboot command. We lost connection, right, because it's uh, restarting. And uh, yeah, as soon as, once it comes back online, uh, we'll check the, you know, we'll check the stats. And then after that, we are going to then uh, create some uh, swap space because I need to add some swap space for uh, some upcoming projects I'm going to be messing with. Uh, we're going to give it one gig of uh, swap space. I guess I'll just explain that now while I'm waiting for the reboot. Um, what you want to change is you're going to change this, right? So the default, if you want to just add a hundred megabytes, right? So this is the size and I tried one G for one gig didn't work. So you need to leave this as one N for one megabyte. And then this is how many times you're going to multiply this, right? So if you got one megabyte, if I multiply by 1024, right? That's a gig, right? If I do 500, that'd be 500 megs. All right. So... I'm um, we'll just go ahead and copy this while I'm at it. And we see that the router is already back up. And let's look and see. And there you go, right? Quick and easy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you know up front. Uh, if you do an upgrade, so if you, go, if, you tr if you flash a firmware upgrade, it does not keep, at least for major revisions. Um, I did a... I did a 22, so I, I did this, and I had a, a open wart like 22 installed, and then I did this upgrade to 23, and then it, it, it still wiped everything. The disk space wasn't there no more, and my um, swap space wasn't there no more. Uh, which, speaking of which, let's go ahead and just uh, knock that out real quick. So cool, so that's that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, paste those commands. And uh, I know it's working when, if you look, if you got one of those flash disks that actually have like a little LED light, right? I see my uh, flash disk starting to flash, <laughs> no pun intended, on the router. So I know there's activity going on. So I'm uh, this does take uh, like a couple of minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and wait that one out. And once it's done, this cat command should show us a file with like some actual information on it. It shouldn't be blank. So let's just go ahead and wait that one out now. All right, it just finished. That literally took like, I, th I think like uh, around 10-ish uh, minutes. And then I got like sidetracked and had to do something. So so yeah, so it is going to it is gonna be some time. So just patiently wait it out. But that's done now. Um, let's uh, look and see. And as you can see, I have my swap space here. And look, my 1024, 1024 megabytes, all right? So yeah, that's... um. All that's all said and done and it's good. So now the next thing we just need to do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to attempt to do the uh, upgrade. All right, and we're now here because um, I'm just gonna save you guys the trouble of just going through everything I went through. So um, despite what you're gonna see, what you might read in the uh, wiki. In fact, let me just go ahead and just uh, move it over here real fast, all right? All right, so look, so this thing about um 
you know, section applies to open world snapshot, but not open world releases, right? Uh, maybe I misunderstood it because I guess they're actually talking about the OPKG packages themselves. Um, I'm thinking they were talking about the actual, well, it says system upgrade. So you already know what I thought, but uh, basically, right? uh doesn't work it just doesn't work right once you do once you do the expansions like we just did if you try updating slash upgrading uh open war uh it'll never maintain it and i guess the reason for that is just something to do with the kernel redoing it blah 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 all that good stuff um now with regards to the um opkg packages themselves right um this i don't know um I, I, I'm kind of confused as to kind of why this would be the case if um, if updating like packages themselves could potentially be an issue if, you know, post like having them already installed. Uh, and the thing is, is this is uh, going to be a little bit more harder for me to test just because like I can't um, I just don't feel like <laughs> going through it right now. But um, I'll have to like install a package and then just wait for some updates and then like update them and then see if there's an issue. But uh, yeah, we're going to just end it right here and just letting you guys know up front that um, you once you once you do this, once you extend the hard drive space and the slot space on the router, uh, if you try to update open word itself, so you upgrading new revisions, new snapshot or whatever, right? Uh, it's not going to maintain it. Not only is it not going to maintain it, if you try to like redo it through the command um, command line, uh, it's a bit of a huge hassle like i was going through all these different things um which talked about some uh some x root file which you gotta just remount it or you gotta actually reboot it remount it uh get to it but it might not necessarily be there and then you know you do all these things and i was like my god this is crazy uh but guess what we actually did figure out how to uh how to do it so uh <laughs> uh you know just kidding you'll have to actually go to the next video because i gotta like finish finalizing that one um but with a simple with a simple change guys we are actually able to make the updating uh maintain the x roots the only thing i'm gonna have to try which will be after which will be the third video this is the first one i'm uh, i'm going to work on the second one now uh, the third one is going to, I, I got to wait for parts to come in from my other router because I'm going to need my other router for it. But um, the only thing we're going to uh, need to actually really test for you guys is going to be what happens when you're installing a package uh, that uses up all of the flash space on your router. Um, oh yeah, like uses all the default. Like let's just for the hell of it, let's say we have a 500 megabyte package, right? And you only had 256, um, but you install it when you had X root, so of course it fit. Um, I need to see what we can do. I already have some ideas in my mind, but for now, that's later on. So just and we're gonna end the video right here. Uh, stay tuned for part two, which is gonna show you the simple change you're gonna need to make so that this doesn't apply anymore. And uh, yeah we'll be you know we'll, we'll be back guys so thanks again for tuning in